people. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. All right, Brennan Taylor here, True School Sports. I'm with uh, Matthew Tinker. How you doing, Matthew? Yeah, good, thank you. How are you? Good, good, good. good. good nice, nice to meet you, man. I've been seeing you on like on Instagram and stuff. Yeah. Uh, you're with Coach Derek. Yeah, uh, yeah. For people that don't know much about you, Matt, uh, what, what could you tell them about you as a, as a fighter? Uh, you know, look out. Hello. Don't get stuck. Hello. I don't know what this is. Huh? <laughs> uh, as a fighter, look, I like. Uh, I like to box, uh, yeah, I see him a boxer puncher, I come, I come to fight and uh, yeah, whatever, when, I, I, look, I come to fight, you know? Yeah. So far, I like to, I like to box and I come to fight, yeah. you, like, you like to get into a tear-up? No, yeah, I, yeah, not really, but it happens, you know? Yeah, it happens, it happens. Uh, how, how, how do you start boxing? Everybody has their stories with how they came to the oh, sport. Well, I've been boxing for years, man. Uh, you know, just the, the town I'm from in England, there's the, the two gyms and I was, you know, a few of my friends are in the gym and uh, yeah, so the gym and fell in love with the sport really, you know? Yeah, yeah. So you say you're from Yorkshire, right? Yorkshire, how, how, how does someone from Yorkshire wind up in South Florida with, with, with Derek Santos? Yeah, so I, look, I've lived, I lived in love the place, you know. Uh, I, I moved to New York, I was living in New York um, and then, you know, I was looking for Looked to change my training. Uh, my friend Chris Glover, he kind of linked me with Derek. Uh, been over there training for a few months, for like four months now, and it's been going good. You know, I like it. So. Yeah, you like it. It's going good. Yeah. 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 Derek, what 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 can you tell people about Matt as a fighter? Well, uh, when I was when they spoke to me about bringing his manager, I spoke to him about something around, and I spoke to Chris Algieri actually. It's always a good thing when you mention somebody else's name and you say, hey, you know, do you know this fighter? And the fighter immediately lights up. And says, yeah, I like that guy. Like he comes to fight. Tough kid, I like him to fight. I say, okay, that, that's already like a good thing I want to hear from a guy who obviously is a world champion and an elite fighter tells you, I like that guy. Yeah, yeah. You know, so instantly I said, all right, well, the time to come down. You know, and see what he's like. And I spoke to Ryan, his manager, Ryan Ricky. And, you know, he says, I really think you're gonna, you know, you're gonna like this kid. And I'm big on demeanor. You know, nah. demeanor, not not only the oh. wanting, the being back. able to be uh, coachable, um, you know, the wanting it, but also to be like, you know, I don't like the people. I'm just not into that. I'm there all day long at the gym. Yeah. Like, I don't need any drama. Divas or extra, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no time for that. Everybody's putting in their, their time, and, and I'm giving you time that they, they don't have time, et cetera, et cetera, you know? Um, and one of the things, he was very good about that. Like he, as soon as he came in, he was like, what would you like me to practice on? And I noticed, I would watch him. I'd be working with other fighters, and I'm like, he's been over there 40 minutes doing what I told him to do. So he listens. Yeah, he listens. There's a lot of guys that would go over there, hit the back for an hour, blah, blah, come back and tell you to take the gloves off. They'll tell you, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. I did two or three rounds or whatnot. But he generally wanted to, like, work exactly on what it was that we were talking about. And I noticed that after week two, okay, that started to get better. This started to get better, you know, with things. Um, there were some things that even surprised me when I saw him live working. Hard. Yeah. But sometimes when you you're working, you're like, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, you like this, you know, you know what you have to fix or what you need to work on. But there's he's deceptive in a few ways when you're in that ring. I don't want to give it away, but he's deceptive yeah, yeah. in a few ways that surprise. You got some tricks in a, in a good yeah. in a good way. Like I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> and, you know. And then it was like, I can I can work with this, you know. Yeah, yeah. And. Um, like I said, he has a great attitude, very coachable, you know. The whole team, the rest of the fighters started telling me, we like him. And when you bring somebody into our family, because that's what it is, you know, you, that's what you want to hear. You want to hear the other fighters also tell you, I like that guy. He's speaking highly of you, man. Like, he's a, he said, like, I appreciate it. Uh, but I appreciate that because the guys take him in. So it's, yeah, it's yeah. yeah. So, you know, it, it's, I'm looking forward to this journey, you know. This is a, obviously a very, you know, a lot of weight divisions are difficult, but this one is too. You know, the big boys can punch. Yeah. What weight class are you again, Matt? What? Uh, 70, I'm fine, 75. Oh, so you're light heavyweight. Okay. Yeah, light heavyweight. It's a great division. Yeah, we, we, 
we're in that light heavyweight, you know, super middleweight sort of kind of between that. Oh, you're still, situation. you're still thinking but, it out? Yeah, and, um, but you know, at that point, I always say that anybody, like all the guys can punch, but what I mean by that is, anybody really above 168, even if you're on the lower end, C level, D level fighter, they can you punch. carry, you some, can carry a little bit of some thump, you know, some thump in your hands. Behind even the haymaker, even a closed eye haymaker, <laughs> you have to be careful about. Yeah. Okay. So you know, it's a, it's a, but it's always fun, you know. And, and uh, I'm hoping that, like I said, he's, he's been very professional, very good with everything we've been doing. And I'm hoping that you know he continues to improve. And this is the start of another one of those journeys. You know, this is. I, I forgot where I'm at after 20 years. No, it's it's all, countless journeys, and it's always the same excitement for me, you know, climbing that mountain. You know? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, Matt, um, I want to wrap the interview up, but before I do, I wanted to, I wanted to ask, is there, is there any message you want to give the people out there about yourself uh, and your career moving forward? Just tune into my fights, and uh, I thank everyone for the support. And, yeah, that's it, you know. That's it. All right, Matthew Tinker. Yorkshire's very own. Thank you for talking to True School Sports. <laughs> Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here boxing fans all over the world from america to the uk to australia and on and on and on so join the empire today hit that subscribe button take care and god